last month, for about three weeks out of the entire month, we've either had slow internet or no internet at all, thanks to some clown who decided it would be nice to cut all the telecom cables on our road. Luckily, that's where D-Link came to our rescue and they sent me one of their 4G LTE routers. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Prashant and welcome back to the Xene ZA. Today, we're looking at the D-Link DWR M961 4G LTE router. So this is dealing solution to a mainly Huawei dominated market and it's I think one of the main or one of the only competitors to Huawei in the 4G LTE router market. So what are some of the main product features? It has CAT6 LTE which means a theoretical speed of 300 meg download and 50 meg upload. It has a 32 device capacity with one 1200 megabit per second wireless access point. It has four external antennas for improved coverage and reception. It at the back it has four gigabit Ethernet ports as well as a gigabit WAN port for failure protection. On the side it has a USB 2.0 port. So this device is useful to people who want wi a good Wi-Fi but aren't happy with the ADSL coverage in the area and either don't have fiber or have very poor, uh, very poor coverage in their area. So this router retails for about two and a half thousand Rand and you can take a look at the dealing website and find most of the e-retailers as well as physical retailers where you can purchase this. Okay. So, in my personal opinion, what do I think of this? Uh, it has a very convenient plug and play operation mode. Well, it's, it's convenient. Plug and play and that's it. It has very smart design and build. And I really liked the fact that the USB port was placed at the side of the router instead of at the front or at the back. Because all the other routers where the USB port is placed at the back we always have a problem, I mean, if we're connecting a drive, then it's either on the way of all the Ethernet cables or something like that. So what are some of the pros and cons of this router? Some of the pros for me were the CAT6 LTE, the 1200 megabit per second wireless access point, which gives you great coverage. I really liked the build quality. And this white plastic that they used isn't just any regular plastic that would get stained or get covered with dust. Right? The 32 gig device capacity, yeah, you can just mark it off as one of those cons. I mean, uh, pros. The other thing was the failover internet connection. So obviously, you have your 4G LTE, whatever. And say, for instance, you have 4G and are waiting for fiber and as soon as fiber gets there now if you have just a 4G router that means you have to throw the router away and go and spend 1000 Rand, 2000 Rand and buy a fiber ready router but with this it's exactly the opposite you have your 4G as well as you can have your fiber the best of both I guess you could say <laughs> so I think that's one of the big pros for me another point of the, the failover for businesses or uh, small to medium businesses that are planning to have a 4G coverage at their premises, it gives you an option so that, let's say you, you put in your fiber and you're using this as your fiber router, and let's say something happens. Someone drove over the fiber cable or the fiber conduit and they damaged it, it will take another six months for you to get up and coming, or uh, another six weeks for them to repair the fiber you don't have to be sitting and, and playing with your thumbs. You can just, you, you always have your 4G in there and it's like immediate cutover. So there's no downtime to your business and you always operating. And that, I, I think that would, this would work well in a small to medium business, right? So onto some of the cons. Some of the cons that I picked up 
Um, the first one was the fact that it's USB 2.0 and not 3 because I mean we're, we're, if you're plugging in a hard drive or now say same theoretical uh, instance you're using it in your business now if you're having your, your users connect to a USB 2.0 compared to a 3.0 drive that that connectivity speed makes a big difference the other con I had was the placement of the antennas right so of these four antennas only two are for Wi-Fi coverage the other two are for your signal coverage and it's like you're basically placing them next to each other if they were placed I mean at least two at the back and two at the side then you could say you have ample coverage around your router for signal as well as for um, as well as for your access point coverage right so one of the last cons I found was the fact that it uses uh, a regular SIM or it requires you to use a regular SIM fitting. Uh, for me that was a bit of a problem because I've been using my LTE SIM in my phone and I couldn't find the, the adapters to put it in here. And what I ended up doing, I ended up going and buying another SIM card, throwing the SIM card away and using the adapters. So. I mean, if it used uh, micro or nano, it would be better. But I think, I mean, although it's using the full SIM, it's still an LTE router, so you're still getting your full coverage. But, I mean, th that was just one of the inconveniences for me that I picked up when I had to test this router. So moving on to the product conclusion. Uh, in conclusion, I think this thing is a great product. And as I said now, I've been using my SIM card in my phone. And what would have happened if, uh, as I'm saying now, our LTE was down for nearly three weeks. Uh, not our LTE, our ADSL was down for nearly three weeks. And now that would have meant me continuously having a phone plugged in charging just so that there could be a hotspot active for internet uh, connectivity in our home. And this really came to my rescue and that didn't mean me having to sacrifice a phone and have a phone plugged in continuously pl uh, supplying internet connectivity in our home. It's a great quality build of a product and I mean with dealing where can you ever 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 go wrong. Um, <clears throat> for its price point it's great. The fact that it serves two purposes just adds another tick in the box. So it's a really great product. If you're thinking of getting a 4G router and you know Fiber is coming to your area soon, I would suggest that you go with something like this because there's nothing that you could go wrong with. It has your failover protection. It saves you from spending money in the future. It serves multiple purposes. It saves you battery life. And I can go on. But I'm just gonna leave it at that. It speaks for itself, it's a great product, and it's nice to see something out of the ordinary. Because the market is dominated by Huawei and their routers, it's nice to see something outside the box. And I've tested this with my Telcom LTE package. So, once again, thank you very much to Dealing for sending out this product for us to review, as well as saving our backsides because our ADSL went down. Uh, guys, I must reiterate, this is not a paid ad. Dealing just sent out a couple of goods for us to look at, play around with, and offer our opinion on them. Yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did. And if you aren't already subscribed, you can hit the subscribe button, click that ding dong notification bell to be notified every time we upload. You can show your support for TechScene ZA, head over to shop.techscenza.co.za and purchase a TechScene ZA shirt. Um, bah, 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 bah. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashant and I'll see you in the next video.